This method can help answer key questions in the intercellular communications field about reciprocal paracrine versus juxtacrine interactions between two types of cells. The main advantage of this method is that it is a very simple and reproducible technique that accurately captures paracrine signaling under typical culture conditions, while at the same time preventing effective juxtacrine signaling. The implications of this technique extend to a better understanding of the mechanism of the crosstalk between the cancer cells and the tumor microenvironment. Though this method can provide insight into the interactions between the cancer cells and the tumor stroma, it can also be applied to other systems such as wound healing and angiogenesis. Begin by detaching the ovarian cancer cells from an 80% confluent mixture with 1 milliliter of 0.25% trypsin for 40 to 60 seconds, followed by neutralization of the reaction with 6 milliliters of complete growth medium. Collect the cells by centrifugation and resuspend the pellet in 5 milliliters of fresh complete growth medium. After counting, Dilute the cells to a 100,000 ovarian cancer cells per milliliter of complete growth medium concentration and place three inverted 0.4 micrometer poor tissue culture treated polycarbonate membrane cell culture inserts per experimental condition in an appropriately sized sterile tissue culture dish. Label the inserts according.